In this video, we'll talk about editing the XML for easy creation for checks. So in this example, what I have is just a heading, a section, and then a couple of checks. For this, I'm looking for are doors placed and if the doors contain an ID number in ID parameter. So what if I want to actually duplicate these checks over and over and over again without really having to come back and rewrite the description, rewrite the name, and make sure that's looking for OST windows instead of OST doors? Well, I could do that through the XML. So I'm going to save and close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an XML editor just like Microsoft Expression Web 4, I'm going to open up that check set. So here, I open up that check set. Now something to note here is that this XML shows exactly how this check set is built. Not only that, each one of these line items for the most part, contain an ID number. These ID numbers, if you want to be able to copy and paste these over and over here inside the XML, these ID numbers need to be removed. So I'm going to come over here and just remove the ID numbers from each one of my line items. You want to make sure that you're careful as to not remove any of the other important line items. When you are done editing the XML to remove these line items, the ID numbers, you can save the XML and open it back up and it will work correctly. When I come back to open, the ID numbers are no longer there and it can still work. In fact, if I was to come to my model check configurator, I can simply come over here to open, open up that XML editing check set, and still have all of my information there, like so. Now I'm ready to actually edit my XML. Something that you should notice here is that where it says heading, it also needs to have a slash heading here to end that line of text or end that line of code. Same thing here with section, section, check, 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 and check. So if I need to create more checks here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it under my section here. So I'm going to add in a new line item here, there. So here, this will contain my new section of new checks. I'm going to copy all of this here right up to my architectural heading, and I'm going to add in windows. So I'm going to just copy this whole set of text here. Now, I'm not going to just go ahead and paste right here on line 18. Instead, I'm actually going to come over here to a notepad and paste it here. The reason here is so that I can actually edit this, do a find replace, and replace everywhere that it says doors to windows. So I'm going to come up here to edit, replace, look for doors, I'm going to type in windows. I'm going to click replace all. Now I could have manually have done this, 
but you can see that find replace helps me out a lot. And in fact, one that is most commonly missed here is this OST property. You need to make sure that this OST property here matches the family category that you need to check against. Something else to keep in mind is that I'm looking for doors that ends with an S. Here, in my failure message, this just has door. So I need to type in the correct verbiage. If I'm happy here, I can highlight all of this, copy it, come back to my XML, line 18, and hit paste. I'm going to go ahead and save this now. And when I come back to Revit, I can open up the check model configurator and look at my configuration check set. With the configurator open, I'm going to click on open, look for my XML editing check set, click on OK. And if I come right over here to check set structure and organization, I can now see I have windows labeled exactly the way that I need it to be, looking for the exact OST category, failure message, and description all edited. So let's go a little bit further. Instead of just doing checks in the same heading or the same section, I'm going to add in a new heading labeled MEP. I'm going to look for lighting fixtures. So what I'm going to do is look for where my heading ends, which is right here on line 29. I'm going to add in a new line item. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole entire area here, do a copy, and then come over here to my notepad and replace it here. Instead of architectural, I'm going to just type in MEP. Now I don't need it to do another set of of checks here, I just want to check my lighting fixtures. So I'm going to get rid of this set of section checks here. Now, as you can see, I have two section enders. I'm just going to get rid of one. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to come up here to edit, replace, look for doors, replace it with lighting fixtures. Say replace all. Now I know for OSTs, for low lighting fixtures, there is no space, so I'm going to remove that space there. And then for the failure message, for the second one, I'm just going to type in lighting fixture. Now I'm ready. Copy. Move here to line 30 and paste. Hit save. Go to my checker configuration, configurator, come over here to open, XML editing check set, click on open, and in my check set organization and structure, I can now see I have architectural doors and windows, and MEP, and my lighting fixtures. This allows me to create my checks very, very quickly inside the XML. 